Uh, I had people of all genders be mean to me. <laughs> That's so sweet. All of, those, <laughs> all of those people are not here anymore. It was so sweet yeah. of all of them. And... They're so egalitarian. <laughs> Um, no, no one ever heard from those people again. This prison's gonna kind of be a mess. You're gonna have to walk. I'm having it so you have to like walk through weird rooms to get to other weird rooms. But we don't have the money to build corridors, so corridors are a luxury we cannot mm -hmm. afford. Nothing messy about this prison. Seems seems fine. It's to confuse the prisoners. In a riot, they'll never expect the armory to be through the infirmary. How flammable is bleach? Uh, um, I don't, it's a good question. I Thank you for asking that. Well, I, you know, comment. Kind of... <laughs> section, tell us. Yeah, please, please. <laughs> comment section, if... But if. please look it up instead of trying it. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, don't don't try that. We don't Please. need a, a lot. None, look, look, none of us have anything to take. So sue us at your leisure, but we've got nothing to take. Um, so just for argument's sake, if there were containers of bleach lying around the prison, and I wanted to let the prisoners have it, and I wanted to give them access to something that starts fires, just you know, what are the broad implications of that? Yeah, right. That, that's what I'm really looking for here. Without anyone actually trying that at home, or indeed in a prison, I think probably most of our viewers are prisoners. Probably, yeah. you know. Now that I now that you mention it, that makes a lot of sense. It really kind of does, doesn't it? Oh, you can make a classroom. We don't have a classroom. Oh, we're not educating our prisoners, Grim. <laughs> but if you educate them, they can make us money. Uh, they could make us money by dying and getting in some fresh ones. I think we just go with the CFO's arrangement. Actually, can we just cycle my staff members through the classroom, and that way they could earn more certifications and degrees and oh. actually command a higher wage? We could get your guards taser qualifications if we had a classroom. Yeah. Is that sufficient? Good. Yes. Yes, that was a great start. Oh, yeah. Janet is doing oh. a great job, by the way. Uh, yeah. Fabulous. That's why, that's why you hire a union. Oh, so we have the kennel. The kennel is now a thing. And the dog folks, dog patrol, they could, in theory... They don't like it when you call them dog folks. It's not... They dog. don't get respect like that. Could you instead assign dog handles oh, so you can just okay. pick your dog yeah, up and walk away with it? Oh, we've okay. The armed guards work. It's, oh no! They, oh, did, did we right, shoot someone? Work. Did we shoot someone? Please say <laughs> we shot someone. <laughs> they just patrol. You can change oh. your patrol route. Can can we change the patrol oh, route to standing no in front of the door shooting? Trees. Oh yeah, I started that. Oh, your forestry. I see. Nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. Forestry makes actually quite a lot of money. Nice. Well done. I support you. I feel the armed guards are bored, and I'd like them to start the shooting place. things. How do we make that happen? There's a lot expand. of people in this prison for torture. What kind of town do we live in here? We actually import them specially, because... Mm -hmm. Yep. I approved it. Oh, okay. That, that's fine. I, it's good you've got something to do around here, Graham. Yeah. Well, I'm sending that person to solitary, just because I didn't like the look of her face. Speaking yeah. of faces, you, you can go to like, solitary too. I didn't know you were such a misogynist, Dave. You you, you we, become warden of a women's things. prison and you just you just go nuts. No, I I would respectfully disagree. I I dislike all people. It, it's just uh, that the the babies are kind of set be. me off. <laughs> oh, especially babies. <laughs> especially <laughs> babies. All people. At least you think of them as people. Like you don't you hate women. You just hate mothers. So well, mostly the babies, really. Yeah. Most. Did, did you actually go for a, a complete women's only prison? Because this is just horrible. Yeah. 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 You can either have a women's prison or a men's prison. Um, all right. I feel the violence could be accelerated with co ed, but hey, what do I know? Uh, unfortunately, they don't let you do that. That's That seems silly. There's not enough. Uh, we need power. Maybe this is my new mission. I'm just going to revolutionize prisons in America. Yeah. Co ed. Co -ed. Just, you know. And all living in a cage in the in the yard. I think that'll help a lot with the aggression. I think it will. I gotta say, you know, all seriousness, I went to all male. This may shock you. I meant went to an all male uh, prison, elementary school, and high school. <laughs> all male prison, and uh, I feel like it made people like ladder, like. And for the time that I went to like a co-ed school, like in middle school, the kids were a lot more 
like, well, they were mean to me. And then when I went to high school and it was all male again, they weren't. Everyone was cool. Everyone was chill. Yeah, I went to an all male school. In, yeah. Uh, when I lived in England, because uh, that's you know not uncommon there. There's a but, lot of uh, bravado and you know aggressive the, behavior. What I found when I got back to America and was in a co-ed school is that I was very yeah. socially backwards. I, I think a co-ed school does offer more social aspects, and I found I was very socially backwards when I got there. So I, yeah. it's got good points and bad points. Yeah, I because uh, I was into games and stuff, and right. uh, there were not a lot of right. other girls at my school were, but a lot of boys were. So they were most of mm. my friends. <laughs> so I would have been lonely. <laughs> But were they mean to you? Uh, I had people of all genders be mean to me. <laughs> That's so sweet. <laughs> all, of those, all of those people are not here anymore. It was so sweet yeah. of all of them. And... They're so egalitarian. <laughs> um, no, no one ever heard from those people again. Uh, let's not talk about that any further. <laughs> no. You weren't even in the country at that time. Uh, so I've got uh, a fresh new concept to talk to you about, Dave, uh, and that is guard towers with snipers on them. Yes. Sold. Done. Great. Good. I just thought I'd mention to you that that was like an option in this yeah. game. Good meeting. Uh, and Good meeting. I don't think I need to say it. Yes. Yeah. We do need to research them. I can work. I can help you with that. Um, yeah. 5,000. Is it worth 5,000? <laughs> it's, 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 well, let me put it this way. Five, it also costs five thousand dollars for taser rollout. Which would you prefer first, Graham? Um, I I will give you five thousand dollars in real world money to build me a sniper tower. Guard towers, it is. Permanent punishments. That's yes. also something we can. Yes. <laughs> Permanent solitary. Uh, I'm yes. gonna get small cells first, though, because oh, so we need building... a lawyer. We can hire. We'll have to hire a lawyer. God damn it! I'll get a lawyer right now. Jeez. Yeah, hire one. It, they are a little expensive. I don't care. Very expensive. I put him in the shower. Excellent. There, uh, you, you oh, got a lawyer. An office for the lawyer. I don't believe that we do. Uh, we do. I'm building the office for the lawyer now. Uh, but oh, nice. first, I need the lawyer to make for me. I a, accidentally I hired two house. lawyers. I got rid of oh, one. You got overexcited. That's and... oh, yeah. good. It only costs 5000 Uh Actually, I'm going to backtrack and go, can we get permanent punishment first and then the sniper tower? Nutrition, I can maybe do nutrition. Serve a single low quality, sorry, low quantity, low variety meal for two days, and then three high variety, high quantity meals for two days. I don't like the thing that we have to feed them well for a few days. Yeah. I don't like that part of that. But, that's, but they give us money if we do it. That's interfering with my permanent punishment idea. So you don't, you don't want it. You don't want the money. I, I want um. the part where we're either permanently punishing people or shooting them. That's kind of my goal here. Okay, so it's then just long-term investment, that's what we do? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, long-term investment, might as well. Long-term investment. It's so long-term. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to put the pixelated nudity on. That's going to require a sensor bar. Whoops. I mean, it already is kind of pixelated to begin with. And it's kind of Sims-esque. It's not particularly um, graphic, per se. Yeah, no, um... it's like a dot. A nipple is a pixel. Does, does Mrs. Scrimdevel like it when you say that? <laughs> <laughs> the uh the new cell block i'm waiting till we get small cells because i just feel like you'd both appreciate us building little tiny cells yeah keep prisoners in. grem will like it for budgetary concerns and i will love it because it will make people sad i built a beautiful office for our lawyer is he leaving the shower yeah, it's beautiful uh, apparently he doesn't know where his office is or he's just creepy well, it's not technically done yet he'll figure it out he'll figure it out okay is so i've got a new point? design for super tiny cells that can bare minimum and i right. we just need to wait 24 hours he does have great hair though he's got fantastic lawyer hair uh no i'm not doing that i've got a fresh oh. new design oh nice oh good this is the dwarf fortress design yeah yeah, yeah. do you like it yeah where they have a bed in the back and then yeah. a cabinet and a chest all in a row yeah and they just have to walk over the chest and the cabinet to get to the bed yeah Perfect. And the dwarves love it. And our, our prisoners will love it too. I'm sure they will. I'm sure there'll course, be no problems from me building don't have stuff. to use the restroom. So that might be a consideration here. Look, there's enough room for a toilet and a bed and nothing else. Might, might <laughs> okay. I just briefly toilet recommend... Toilet place of cabinet and chest. Yes, please. One, one central toilet for the entire block. I'm going to start punishing people while they're in the middle of dinner, just because I think it's fun. So you see that danger level? 
Oh, I'm not paying uh, attention yeah. to that sort of nonsense. There are two bangs. Yeah, fair enough. All right, people are making license plates. I don't know how many we've made. Or maybe they're just learning how. Freedom, food. They're freedom making them. Uh, no, they're learning. Scarlet's into freedom. Cowl's into food. They're not paying attention to teacher. They're just talking about freedom and food. Like if you hover over a prisoner, sometimes it says parenthesis, fresh fish. Does that mean they're a new prisoner? Probably. Oh, maybe. I think I think that's like that prison slang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for teaching us. I, I can't Thank wait you, to meet Dave. a prisoner and be like, oh, are when you all the fresh, fresh fish, fish came in, and they're just going to slap me. Hey, gaming videos isn't the only thing I watch on YouTube. <laughs> I'm here to help, Grim. Uh, I'll just punish people in that area just for... Brilliant. Yeah. I don't think we have quite enough solitaries. I'll just start a line at the door. Hey, if we get them out, we get the money from bringing them back in. Oh, yeah, I get it. Recidivism rate. I see where you're well, going I there. I think we yeah, get yeah. money for bringing them in, but we don't get money for just having them. So we want to bring them in and then we get, get them out. We get money for having them, but we get less money than we get for bringing them in. I think Grem might be onto something here. We get the supermax prisoners in and then immediately parole them back into society. Yeah, maybe we plant contraband on them on their way out and immediately arrest them again. I, oh, okay. You're starting to impress me now, Grem. <laughs> Speaking of. We've got our first person working in the, the workshop. Huzzah. License plates are on their way. Uh, I think she's doing uh, slicing wood into planks first, but you know what? It still counts. Oh, no, these guys are doing license plates. Wooden license plate? What is it, for the Amish? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's a niche uh, market, and that's why it's profitable. Nice. Worry, right. See where you're doing I'm an there. expert. I'm pretty sure the Amish do use metal tools, but... Uh, yeah, hopefully the shakedown while they're working doesn't distract them too much. I feel like we should almost just exclude them, just because uh, they're in such a useful room. They're going to have the best contraband, though. It's going to yeah, be like, uh, oh, I've got you metal have a detectors buzzsaw. at the door. I built metal detectors. <laughs> you did. And there's a guy did. with a gun right there. So It's true. So, so Graham. Graham. Yes. Yes, Dave. I, I'm, I'm just trying to explore your mind, as dangerous oh. as that may be. Uh -huh. um, you, you've brought people in to the workshop to make things, and then you're shaking them down and claiming yeah. that the tools that we ourselves gave them are, in yeah. fact, <laughs> contraband. That's right. That's exactly what I was thinking. You, sir, are a genius. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put them all in solitary for you. <laughs> they, no, well, wait, no, we need the license no. plates. Those license plates are worth a lot of money. You, wait, yeah, they're worth $10,000. Whoa. Ten thousand yeah. dollars for an Amish we license plate? Well, for thirty license plates. It's a niche market. Still, I told you. Really good deal. We negotiated a really nice deal. Thirty wow. license plates, ten thousand dollars. That's like, that's like ten dollars a license plate. Yeah. How many how many quilts do the Amish have to sell to afford one of these things? Oh wait, those are Quakers or Shakers. I don't know. Maybe they're Methodists. I don't remember. Uh, quilts are somebody else. Uh, yeah. So I've set the uh, the parole cutoff to 99%. So as long as there's a 99% or less chance of reoffending, they uh, might as well just run free. What right. are these? I don't like this kennel situation. So Why not? We've got a room where prisoners work and then two <laughs> regular doors and then freedom. Uh, so they're staff doors. They're not regular doors. They're pretty much regular doors for the purposes keys. of... Kicking them well, down. We could put, I was thinking about making one of them a higher security one, the one that goes to the outside. I think we just shouldn't have the cut through between the, the sorting room and the panel. Whatever. Hey, Siv, can I just okay. address your parole system? I just want to make sure I understand yeah, it yeah. correctly. So there's a 99% chance that this person is going to reoffend, but they still get let free. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. So that 1% that <laughs> doesn't get yeah. parole, that person basically has to be stabbing a member of the parole board to not get parole. Is that correct? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So long as you're That's not- That's why we're building the sniper tower. Got it. Okay. I just I wanted mean, to understand your system I and I'm on board with it. Thank you. I, I knew you would be, to be honest. Do we need a doctors in here? Why do we have an infirmary? Yeah. We- yeah, because people get sick. What about staff members? I thought yeah. you were a good union member. Oh, well, you didn't tell me they were for staff. That's fine, then. For Just so long staff. as they're only for staff. Of course. All right, that's better, then. In that case, I need several more doctors. 
We have oh, massive selling danger. Objects. What have you been selling? Nothing. Uh, massive danger <laughs> levels in the prison, by the way. Why do our janitors never clean reception? It's a union Is there thing. there a janitor patrol? You may remember that was brought up in our last collective bargaining, Graham DeVille, and um, uh, that's just uh, not sure something we do. Yeah. Just don't do anything? We, we, not with that area, no. Uh, that was part of the bargaining. Hey, you know what? You, you got a union crew, you're going to get union yep, rules. Yep. We only have one gardener. You're asking my boys to clean up vomit that somebody has sprayed on a wall. So you just take what you can get, okay? Where are you going? I'm following this janitor now. You watch follow it don't, don't get creepy on my janitor. We'll have to be back to the bargaining table. You don't want to strike on your hands. I'm <laughs> following That's him. true. He's HR. He, he could do it. I, I can order a strike at any time. And our danger level is very high. You don't want your yeah. guards walking yeah. out right now, do you? Do you? Hold on. People are... Oh, I want some of them. My, People are angry about luxuries. All of this so because your receptionist can't pick up a dustpan and broom and clean their own area? That's all we're asking. I think that's uh, a No, I'm, fair. I'm looking at our prisoners. They're yelling about luxuries. They well, need luxuries. We, ha we have not stopped our union discussion. I see. So you're just they walking. You're walking luxuries. away from the table. You're walking away from the table. Okay. I, I've got Coat it. Stand. Right. Code stand. Code stand counts as a luxury, right? I'm going back to my union and tell them that management walked away. I am going to do... Uh, this i'm always of the opinion that tutorials and rules are for other people i no 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 real reason to get involved with that what makes you so special you can just cruise right through the door i don't know yeah pench take the hint they don't want to hear from you the, no, the, the shrine no. is not interested in the sorceress uh do you know what let's go to the tavern let's 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 wing it just let's go to the tavern and see what happens don't mention my name in the tavern because there are no. people looking for me there um, ah, i keep picking up gold i don't know if you've noticed yes i I, acquiring I, it. I it seems to just be you know littering your trail as you walk along there's just <laughs> gold everywhere for you to pick up meanwhile mine gets stolen and taken to the desert 